movements of the earth's crust earthquakes any sudden movement of the earth's surface is called as an earthquake it takes place mostly when two parts of the earth's surface due to the tectonic forces move suddenly in relation to each other along a fault suddenly releasing tremendous amounts of energy in the form of vibrations and tremors the point from which an earthquake originates is called the focus and the point on the earth surface directly above this is called the epicenter three types of seismic waves are identified which spread outwards in all directions from the focus they are the p s and l waves the compressional waves which travel 1.7 times faster than the shear waves are the first ones to reach the earthquake recording station and hence the seismologist the branch of knowledge that deals with the study of earthquakes is called the seismologist refer to them as primary or p waves and the shear waves as secondary or s waves the p wave can pass through any medium whereas the s waves cannot traverse the liquids this knowledge has helped the scientist as an indirect evidence to know about the interior or the internal structure of the earth the instrument used to detect and record the seismic waves is called seismograph and the record which appears like a graph is called seismogram earthquakes are classified according to the depth of the foci a deep focus earthquakes occurring at depths exceeding 300 km b intermediate focus earthquakes with depths of the focus ranging between 55 km and 300 km shallow focus earthquakes with depths of less than 55 km causes of earthquakes earthquakes may also occur due to volcanic eruptions however the intensity and extent of these earthquakes would usually be very less collapse of the roofs of caverns mines and tunnels etc hill slides landslides and avalanches etc also cause but minor earthquakes of lesser intensity and destruction recent investigations reveal that unscientific and over exploitation of groundwater resources may also cause earthquakes effects of earthquakes earthquakes cause great loss to life and property usually the after effects cause more loss than the actual vibrations power and transport lines are cut off rivers may change their course if their channels are blocked by hill slides some of the effects of the earthquakes are fire breakouts b wells dry up c mines and pipelines become inoperative d buildings collapse e trees get uprooted f some areas are lifted while some others sink fissures appear on the ground The number of lives claimed by earthquakes is unaccountable and the loss of property immeasurable during the thousands of years of human history. Distribution of earthquakes. It has been estimated that about a million earthquakes occur each year. Most of these are so minor that they pass unnoticed. Really violent earthquakes occur about once in every 2 weeks. Fortunately, most of these under the oceans. volcanoes it is a known fact as evidenced by the mine workers the temperature and pressure increase with depth inside the earth crust the outer layers of the earth consist of layers of rock containing different types of minerals there are some minerals called the radioactive minerals such as radium uranium thorium plutonium etc which continuously emanate heat when they are present in the deep seated rocks the heat thus emitted get accumulated as a rock or bad conductors of heat while the solid rocks are liquefied water vapor and many other gases are released which has there is no way to escape also occupy the same chamber along with the magma and exert great pressure upon it as the excessive heat and pressure released it solidifies again forming igneous rocks Some magma is solidified along the passage to the earth surface this process is called volcanicity There are two types of volcanic eruption the central type and the fissure type The central type of eruption 
This type of eruption usually involves a single vent. The solid and molten rock material ejected accumulate around the vent forming a hill or a mountain more or less conical in shape. Mount Etna in Sicily, Cotopaxi in Ecuador, Vesuvius in Italy, Fujiyama in Japan and the Barren Island in the Andaman Islands in India are some of the typical examples of the cone-shaped volcanic mountains in the world. The Fissure Type of Eruption This type of eruption involves a series of vents present along a fault line in the Earth's crust discharging enormous quantities of lava leading to the formation of lava plains and plateaus. Usually hundreds of square kilometers in area, the valley of the Snake River, the Columbia Plateau and the Deccan Traps region of the peninsular India may be cited as examples involving this type of eruption. Depending upon the frequency of eruption, volcanoes are classified as A. Active, B. Dormant and C. Extinct. The volcanoes that erupt frequently are called active volcanoes. Those volcanoes which have erupted in the historic names but not recently are called the dormant volcanoes. But even the volcanoes which are considered as extinct may surprise the scientists at any time by turning active suddenly. Mount Vesuvius and Krakota which for many centuries were considered as extinct became active and caused invaluable loss to life and property in Italy and Indonesia respectively.